Make sure your T levels are through the roof. That will do absolutely nothing for your health and fitness world. Shut the Ah. All right, first off, I'd like to thank the 1,114 of you that subscribed to my channel. I know most of you probably subscribed through shorts because I've just been doing a lot of shorts lately because that's the thing to do now. Because YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you name it. For the rest of you, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you. I love all of you guys. Da -da 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 -da. This week on YouTube, we got Half Thor going back on the steroids and Mike O'Hearn gaslighting all of us as the usual. So, let's get this going. I found this nutritionist guy, quote unquote. I was calling out Greg Doucette. Let's see what he has to say. Well, because to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. False. Completely false. Here's several ways you can lose weight without being in a calorie deficit. Number one, you can surgically have parts of your body removed, Greg. Surgically removing body parts? What is this? And props to Greg for the facial expressions. This is hilarious. This guy is a idiot. What am I looking at? Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? Next up, we got Half Thor Bjornsson going back into Strongman, trying to beat his world records. And I would have to say, there's probably, aside from him wanting to do it, a very distinct reason why he would want to break his own world records. And that's because a lot of people said that when he broke the deadlift record during COVID, that it was invalid, he cheated, etc. Maybe some people didn't quite say it like that, but they definitely implied that he cheated because he did not do it during a competition, which prior to this, it has always been done in a competition to my knowledge. So he's probably going to break the deadlift world record in competition, therefore quelling anyone saying that he cheated. Next up, we got these kids. They fought a bear. You might think you're a badass, but do you think you could fight off a bear? I don't think so. Just for us to walk out of there alive, all four of us, it's a miracle. This morning, four college wrestlers grateful to be alive and for each other after perhaps their toughest match going toe to toe with a grizzly bear. Well, I'm glad they all survived. Hopefully, they can heal up pretty fast and get back to wrestling. As I said, Previously, we got Mike O'Hearn gaslighting the world again. Make sure your T levels are through the roof. I'm natural. I never took steroids. Ha 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 ha. That's what he thinks. Although half the world doesn't really think he's natural, but whatever. And then apparently, I don't know how to go grocery shopping. Hey everyone, I'm Alan Thrall, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to go grocery shopping. But whatever. So I'm going to show you how I plan my grocery shopping trips to ensure I have everything I need and nothing I don't for four days of meals. A healthy meal in my book looks like this. Got a reasonable amount of calories, that depends on the individual, a decent amount of protein, low to moderate amount of saturated fat, throw in some fiber, and I call it a balanced meal. So I pretty much stopped watching the video there because it just turns into the Food Network at this point. Bam, 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 bam. Then we got Jeff Nippard teaching us how to do minimalist workouts. He's made a few videos on these. They're fairly good. Here's my minimalist workout. Get some dumbbells, get a bench, do some chest exercises, do some shoulder exercises, do some back exercises, dumbbell squat, curls, triceps. There you go. Do that one to three times a week, add in some cardio, and you're basically good. If you stuck around this long, please like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. See you next time.